They said it wouldn't last. Now, nearly a year and a half after his memorable announcement to run for the highest office in the land and tens of millions of votes later, the man so many didn't take seriously is our new president-elect and poised to lead this great nation. We here at Justice had a front row seat to this historic campaign that has changed the face of the country. Take a look. It was the grand entrance that kicked off the campaign that would change the way we look at politics. A grand entrance immediately followed by the first in a long string of frank, no-nonsense talk no one had ever heard from a serious candidate before. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists. Donald J. Trump's was the bare bones, tell it like it is, politically incorrect campaign that almost everyone called a flash in the pan. Winning the White House was a pipe dream, said the pundits, but through it all, the straight talk kept coming. Ruffled feathers be damned. Then he apologized. He, and then he apologized like a little baby, like a disgusting little weak, pathetic baby. He's not a war hero. He's a war hero. He's a war Five hero. And a half years He's a war hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured, okay? Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Your Twitter account Only has Rosie several... O'Donnell. But behind the headline making one-liners, the late night Twitter smackdowns, and the occasional war with the press lay a real I'm message. Credit. I'm looking to make America great again, not credit. A message that resonated with everyday Americans. Blue collar voters tired of watching American jobs ship overseas. Tired of a rapidly left-leaning countries leaving the everyman behind. And the man quickly emerging as the Republican front runner saw them, heard them, and it's embraced a, them. It's, it's what very, is the movement? It's, it's a movement of people that are tired of seeing stupid, stupid decisions made in our country that are destroying our country, where our companies are leaving, our jobs, are, our people are being fired. It's a group of people that are tired of stupidity. It's a group of people that want common sense and they want to win again. We don't win anymore. One by one, the traditional GOP candidates, the ones who were supposed to win, were vanquished, some in more memorable fashion than others. This little guy has lied so much go. about my record. Did you ever see a guy sweat like this? It's Rubio! <laughs> Lion Ted, Lion Ted. What's your name? My name's Lion Ted Cruz. You have to spell it right. It's L-Y-I-N apostrophe, Lion Ted. Jeb Bush, we call him low energy, low energy. As he stood victorious, holding the mantle of the Republican Party, Donald Trump started the uphill battle against the face of the Democratic Washington establishment, pledging all along to keep proving the naysayers wrong and keep doing it like no one ever has. And I beat a lot of people that are good people, and now I have one left. It'll probably be Crooked Hillary. She's crooked as you get. Mm -hmm and it'll probably be her, and we're gonna see what happens. What we saw at first was more of the same. The polls, the pundits, the people paid to read the tea leaves, all predicted history. The first female president, ready to continue the eight-year push to the left. But much of America had a different history-making vision in mind. An America that reached out to those who felt forgotten. And quickly, the race that wasn't supposed to be a race became, well, a race. I have a message for all of you. The crime and violence that today afflicts our nation will soon, and I mean very soon, come to an end. Then, 
a gift from the most unlikeliest of givers, a rallying cry from the very person who was already planning her move back to the White House. You can put half of Trump supporters into what I call the basket of deplorables. The basket grew until it burst. Hardworking, angry, frustrated, and now insulted American voters. Fired up and ready to make history. To Such a nasty trust woman. Fund. And through it all, though he added substance, specifics, and even a first 100-day action plan to the rhetoric, Donald Trump never stopped being Donald Trump. It's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Yeah. Because you'd be in jail. And as progressives and elites gathered in New York and across the country on election night, ready for a presumptive party, it was the forgotten, the angry, the working class who wound up emerging from the shadows to dance into the night. Those at the back of the line now up front, the movement now center stage. America stands at the crossroads of one of the most critical times in its history, with a president unlike any of its previous 44 ready to lead. The improbable, colorful ride that started on a golden escalator has finally reached the White House. We'll be right back.